Good morning. I'm Paul Hindelang, and I own a company called Results Systems Corporation. And I've been in the engineering, manufacturing, consulting business for a number of years. A member of CBRT, uh, worked in the Detroit area uh, with the Birmingham chapter, and also joined the board of directors of CBRT. Let me share the reading with you. Uh, Philippians 3. 1315, brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to be taken hold of, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Jesus Christ. Following in verse 15, all of us then who are mature should take a view of things. And if on some point we think differently, that too, God will make clear to you. The thoughts that I had from that reading were, I have to make certain in my leadership that number one, I'm pursuing self-leadership and always examining myself. In the consulting business, we use the phrase, physician, heal thyself. So in leadership and leadership development, the first person we need to lead carefully is ourselves. Second of all, we then have to examine what can we do to lead others and what can we do to impact them in pursuing the, the noble course, the course that serves customers, the course that uh, embraces uh, the vendor in the supply chain, that embraces every employee in achieving the results, the perfection that they're seeking in their lives. In summary, I think Paul is telling me that we need to forget the past, that we need to press on to the goal and to the goals of our team and our customers and our society at large and how we all can become better. We third, we need to win the spiritual prize. Certainly the material world is how we succeed in a day-to-day -day basis, but winning the spiritual prize is far more important. And to do that, we just need to seek and do God's will. So let me close today with a, with a prayer. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for the message of your words through St. Paul in his letter to the Philippians. Please forgive us our failures of the past. We repent for any of our wrongdoing. Jesus, please inspire us today to pursue with enthusiasm and pursue the virtues of faith, hope, and love. Inspire us to have faith in you and faith in ourselves. Hope for peace, hope for joy, and multiply our love, our love of God and our love of fellow man. Amen.